Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo and Happy New Year's to anybody who is watching this video today on January 1st of 2022. And may this year be a very good year for you. Good blessings and hopefully much better than 2021. So in today's video, we will be talking about the Gold Shell ST Box. Now the ST Box mines Star Coin and it's one of those very small Gold Shell boxes that doesn't really take up too much power consumption. It only costs you about 18 cents a day just to run it 24 hours and also it doesn't have a loud noise and it doesn't change the temperature of your room just like those big massive regular ASIC uh, miners that can easily change the temperature of your room and cost you over five or six dollars a day to run so this one's very small it's a good way to start off if you want to so in today's video I'm gonna show you where you can purchase it which pool I have it a part of how much it earns per day how much it can earn you per month and per year I'm also gonna show you just how to get it connected fully from start to finish it also has a Wi-Fi antenna on there so if you don't want it to run through regular Ethernet you can just have it run through Wi-Fi even though you have to set it up on the Ethernet first uh, and we'll actually really just cover everything about this also which wallet all of my star coin goes into so really this is the full-fledged everything you need to know about the ST box so taking a fast look at the box, it looks the same as any other small gold shell ASIC little miner box. This thing is tiny, it has a couple fans in it. You also have a button, you'll have your LAN port you're able to have, and then also this little attachment, a small little tiny antenna, which will give you your Wi-Fi capabilities. And so I'm gonna show you how you can get it connected to either ethernet as well as Wi-Fi or both at the same time. I've tested it both ways with ethernet and also with Wi-Fi, and one of them going at the exact same, you know, all individually, just so I can see if one of them has better uh, connectivity, better performance than the other. And honestly, they both came out almost the exact same. Doesn't matter if you're connected it through Wi-Fi or through Ethernet, which is pretty surprising. Even though the uh, the change in the hash rate does change and move more than the rest of the other boxes that I've seen. So first off, you can see that we're looking at poolin.com. This is the pool of where I have it sitting in. I only have one worker, so I only have one of the boxes. Uh, and so in my dashboard here, you can see that in real time, we're sitting at uh, 10 kilohash. And so if we look at the 24, 12 kilohash, which is the average kilohash that it should be at. Uh, and then we'll also be taking a look at the chart of Starcoin just to see where it has been, where it's sitting right now. Uh, and you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it can easily go back up into the you know the 24 range the 32 cent range uh, right now it's came down it kind of has a little wedge going in there hopefully it'll maybe break out here in the future after this little bear market is kind of finished uh, and then right here you can see the gold shell st box this is where i got mine from uh, and honestly this is one of the better locations to purchase it other than just gold shell itself when you go to the manufacturer which is goldshell.com their website always breaks down crashes you can really almost never buy any of these boxes uh, they sell extremely quick um, and uh, I'd say in terms of all the verified locations, this would be the best place to get it in terms of the price as well as how fast they're able to ship. Now, uh, the exchange that I'm using and the wallet I'm using is here at Gate.io. And if you're not a part of Gate.io, I do have a link below the video inside the description. You can click that. It'll take you up to the sign up page. And if you do use that link, then you'll be able to earn some money after your first trade. Uh, and then also too, we'll take a look at ASIC miner value. And so ASIC miner value will show you a bunch of information uh, in terms of electricity and how much it'll cost to run a day, how much it'll cost to run a month, and then how much it'll cost to run a year. Now, Starcoin is down quite a bit. Uh, and so that's why when you take a look at how much it can earn in a year, it's actually not that high. But once it goes right back up, as long as you're holding on to everything, uh, then you'll be able to see that the profitability is gonna go much higher. So the, the profitability, not long ago, just back in December, uh, November, things like that, it was getting $4 a day, it was getting $5 a day, and now you can see that it's gone down. So once the market goes back up, then you'll be able to take a look at these numbers again, uh, which would be uh, quite a bit higher than right now. So this number should say something about four times the, the, the price you see. So it should be at least $2,000 a year. Uh, just my personal assumption and guess. Uh, so again, we will see it go back up. So don't let this number right here defer you from purchasing this, especially if you can get it at a really good price. So first off, let's talk about where you can purchase the ST box. And so I got mine from asicmarketplace.com. 
and you can see the price is $1,690. So $1,690. They are in stock currently right now. The main details right here is the 13.92 kilo hash uh, for the hashing power. And its power consumption is the least power consumption out of any of the boxes. So this one is 61 watts. Now all the other you know small boxes you see from Gold Shell, they're always right around 210, 220, 230 watts. So this right here is the, the smallest power consumption I have ever seen. That is why it only costs about 16 or 18 cents to run a day. All the other ones are a little bit higher, you know, closer to about 50, 60, 70 cents a day to run. So this is again, the location of where you can purchase it. I'll place the link below the video inside of the description. Uh, here is that ASIC miner value that we just got done talking about. You can see here about 18 cents to run a day. Now, if you go down here, you can change your electricity costs. So if yours is a little bit cheaper, obviously it's gonna be cheaper for you to run. Uh, here's all of the verified vendors of where you can purchase it. You can see ASIC Marketplace is sitting at one of the better price points rather than this one here. Uh, but Miner Bros doesn't have as good as communication and they don't send it as fast. I have used a few of these in this list and the best one is the one that I do suggest, which is ASICMarketplace.com. So we talked about you know how much it takes to run it per day, how much you can earn, per day uh, you know a dollar sixty per day which you can see up here before it was at 460 450 350 420 so these numbers uh, I think this is kind of an outlier number it will go back up so you can do the math if you want to you can just basically take just say three dollars and fifty cents times the $365 per year uh, or the 365 days so that you can get that number per year of what this would actually probably come out to. So you can still mine it as long as you hold on to everything that you have mined, uh, then it's all gonna be worth the same in the future as long as the coin goes up. So we talked about where to purchase. We talked about all of the details here inside of asicminervalue.com. Uh, and now here is the pool-in website. This is where I have mine sitting and I wanna show you, you know, just how it has been doing with all of its earnings. So if you take a look at the earnings, you can see on day one, uh, we got 14 STC, so 14 star coin. Uh, usually on your very first day, you have the least out of all of the rest. Uh, on the very next day, we got 16 and then we got 15.8. 15.4, 15.9. So it's looking like we get between 15 and 16 star coin every single day. And yes, these numbers can change in the future. The uh, difficulty levels can go up a little bit. So you might earn just a little bit less, you know, six months from now, nine months from now. But as of right now, uh, you're getting between 15 and 16. So this is a good time to get in and really just accumulate and wait until all of the, you know, wait till star coin goes back up. So not bad at all. I had it running for one, two, three, four, five days. Uh, so today, uh, January 1st is the sixth day. So my total paid is 78 STC. So where is all of this going? So this is where I put it into gate.io, which is gate.io, again, linked below the video inside the description. What you wanna do is you'll actually head over inside of wallet once you create your account and just hit on deposit. So inside of the deposit screen, this right here, you just wanna hover over where it says coin and you wanna search and type in STC. Now, because I've already searched for it, you can see it's here on the very top. You just type in STC and then it's gonna show you your wallet address. So really all you have to do is now copy this and then you wanna put it into the details of Poolin. Uh, so in, t in terms of Poolin, this is where you wanna go inside of your withdrawal settings. And inside of withdrawal settings, this is where you want to, you know, select the option of STC. So over here, you know, let's say that you're mining, uh, you know, CKB or the Nervos network. You can see I put in my wallet address there. Over here, if you put in a star coin underneath your settings and withdrawal address, you just want to copy and paste it, put it here. There is a hold of 72 hours because there is a change of a withdrawal address. And so this is where you, again, create your account at gate.io, copy this in there and put it into your pooling account. So we pretty much talked about everything other than getting it connected you know, to Poolin itself. We talked about where you can purchase it, talked about the wallet address and the exchange of what I am using. We talked about all the profitability and how much it costs to run it per day. We took a look at the chart. Again, I, don't, I wouldn't be so surprised if it goes back up to 24 cents or 32 cents, things like that. So we talked about all of this. And we also talked about exactly how much you get with your earnings uh, inside of Poolin. So again, I am using Poolin, uh, the website, and here's all the numbers that you would want to know, uh, which is gonna be you know 16 to 15 star coins per day. 
So now this is where you want to get it connected over into this pool. Now, the nice thing about gold shell is that you don't have to go, for example, let's say that you don't have to go inside of the home. You don't have to scroll down, take a look at Starcoin. Here is the mining pool. So this is the pool of where you would be mining into. You wouldn't have to look at this because inside of the dashboard, of gold shell they already have it set up for you they make it very very super simple uh, that you wouldn't have to do all those details the only thing you have to remember from poolin.com is your account name or mining management name so right here uh, i use jimmy promo and again i always put in you know dot zero zero one dot zero zero two dot zero zero three uh, for all of the workers that i have so this way i put little stickers on each box and i know exactly if there is a problem i know which one is having the problem so here we go i'm going to get back out of here now the program that i use is called advanced ip scanner so for advanced ip scanner you want to hit on scan. Now, originally, right out of the box, you do want to plug this into your ethernet right away, you know, into your modem or cable box, whatever it may be. You want to plug it in, you can just do it right where you are. And then once it finds it, you'll be looking for one of these monitors with a blue monitor with a little arrow next to it. So you can see here, this one's a blue monitor with an arrow. This arrow will actually take me into the dashboard of the miner itself. So once you find your, your ST box listed in this list here, so mine, I always write down a name so I know for exact, you know, I know for sure what these are. So this is my DR5. Uh, this one is my mini Dogecoin miner here. Here is the star coin and this is my first one. So once you have found it, this is where you want to double click and it takes you over into the dashboard. Now you might notice on the very top, it might actually be in this screen here. All you simply have to do is click on this little flag, switch it over to English, and then now you're in the English version of the site. And so here you can see that it definitely is the Gold Shell STC box. Uh, you can see its firmware version that it's running. Now I do have to say that out of all the boxes, this one has the highest reject rate that I have seen, even though it hasn't really affected the box too much. Um, and again, with the hash rates, they, they move around so much. This is 22, uh, and it was down at 12. It went down to 12.5. This one was down to, you know, nine. So this one moves a lot more than any of the other boxes I've seen, but it still performs and puts out what you need. So now that you have it connected, it's plugged in, you have the ethernet, you already found it through advanced IP scanner. So the first thing you wanna do is head over inside of miner in this area here, and you wanna hit on unlock. Now, once you unlock it, it's gonna be, you have to put in the code, the password, which is one through nine. And then once you have it unlocked, this is where you have your pool settings and there may be something or there may not be something there. All you have to do is head inside of add, and then you want to choose which one you use. So if you want to use F2 pool, you can, but I use Poolin. It puts it in uh, the URL right away. This is where you want to put in your username and password. So again, my username here is going to be Jimmy promo dot uh, If I get another one of these boxes, it'll be Jimmy promo dot And then you put in the password and this is just the password I use for the Poolin website itself. And then you hit on apply. Now, after you hit on apply, it's gonna show right up over here, and then it's gonna turn green, meaning that it has been connected. From here, if you wanted to, you can hit on lock, um, but you can always just head home. You can see the average mining for the hash rate. As long as it goes up, you'll start seeing this go up after a minute as well. So that is how you're able to get it into your pool. So once it shows that it's connected, you can actually go inside of pool in, and on side of this uh, star coin location here, just make sure you hit on refresh. When you hit on refresh, uh, it should pop up within about 60 seconds or so. And you're gonna see that you have one active. Then you know for a fact that it is in the pool. So now that you have it in the pool and you have it connected through ethernet, maybe you wanna move it somewhere else and you want it to run through Wi-Fi. Now, if you want it to go through Wi-Fi, this is where you hit on system. And then inside of system, you want to turn on Wi-Fi settings. Now, this does take a minute to populate, and you can also still, actually it pulled up really quick here. So uh, any of these, I'd be able to connect it through Wi-Fi. Again, you just wanna click on any of these and you hit on connect. Now, if I wanna to go to one that I've never connected before, 
you want to go to connect and then you put in your Wi-Fi password. Now this one is actually connected at the moment. This is one that has already been, uh, you know, um, put in with my password from before. Now, if I wanted to, I can still disconnect it and the thing is still going to be running through ethernet. Now, the reason why I like having it on ethernet is it's supposed to be a more stable, better, consistent connection. Now I did test it with, you know, with the wireless and also with ethernet for two days on two days with the other. And basically almost, it was almost the exact same result. So it really doesn't matter if you want it to be Wi-Fi or if you want it to be through ethernet. Now, because I already have ethernet running out into the garage, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And this is where you can turn off your wireless. So let's say that you went through and you want to make sure it is connected through wireless. So first off, put it through ethernet, find it, connect it, go through the settings. Then in the screen, this is where you go to system. You turn on that wireless LAN. And then once it's connected, it's going, you can actually go outside or wherever it's located. You'd be able to unplug the ethernet and it's going to stay connected. It's actually really cool. Uh, uh, and it's, it's kind of, it's a really nice feature because you don't have little cables running through all of your house, things like that. So that is it for today's video. We talked about the chart on where it's sitting right now. We talked about the pool of which I have mine sitting in, which is poolin.com. We also talked about where you can purchase the ST box. We talked about which exchange that I am using, which is right here. Uh, this is gate IO. Now, if I wanted to, I can show you the wallet. If I go into my spot account, there's really not too much sitting in this account. This is one that was just recently created. So I have some grin sitting in here as well as my store coin. Uh, and then all of them right here got all deposited into. If we go inside of this deposit button, if I scroll down, you can actually see all of them being put in there. So for the first one was 46. Then you can see the 15 and the 15. 46 is because it was held for those three days. Uh, we talked about the product, uh, the profitability, how much it costs to run it. And then we talked about the dashboard, getting it connected to the pool. So hopefully you guys appreciated the video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. Maybe you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hand subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.